With your weatherbug.com severe weather outlook, I'm meteorologist Gretchen Mischik. Extreme heat continues to impact portions of the northeast, but it's not going to last all weekend long. As a cooler air mass makes its way across the Midwest and into the Great Lakes, stronger storms will be firing off both today and into tomorrow. We're taking a look at where those storms will be and when that relief is coming from the heat. Boston under an excessive heat warning today. Just one of the areas that will be dealing with near dangerously hot conditions as heat indices will be climbing above 100 degrees. We set a few new records yesterday. That includes JFK. They uh, top out at 100 degrees Allentown at 98 degrees so for today all of the pink shaded areas that indicates where we have excessive heat warnings in effect where the heat index could be uh, well above 100 degrees Boston New York portions of Long Island all the way down through our nation's capital and back to the Detroit area and portions of eastern Michigan the orange shaded areas also indicate where it's going to be very warm heat advisories in effect for those areas so after Actual temperatures, that only tells half the story. It's when you combine the heat and humidity, that's when you get the heat index, what it actually feels like outside. So although highs will be into the low to mid-90s, it's going to feel even warmer than that. Philadelphia up to 95, but feeling like it's going to be well above 100. Definitely taking it easy today. Relief is coming. It's coming to places like Chicago. Although it's hot and sunny as we start the day today, storms will be firing off here this afternoon. It's in a zone of a, a slight risk. All of the yellow shaded areas indicate where we could see severe weather this afternoon as a front makes its way through stronger storms may be firing off in these areas and continuing to move into the northeast bringing in uh, that potential for severe weather along with some relief from the heat we'll continue to keep track of it right here at weatherbook